Hey everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode. I am the Colonialist, and this is an introduction to Campanotus nicobarensis, commonly referred to as Nikos. This Campanotus species is found across India and Asia. According to ant maps, dubious reports have been made about them being found in North America. Whether those reports are true or false, I don't know, but what is true is this species is certainly a favorite amongst exotic keepers. Brood development, going from egg to ant, is merely four weeks, unlike other Campanotus species, which are eight weeks plus. Nikos do not hibernate, so the queen produces brood all year round. This essentially means every four weeks you will have a new batch of workers. They need to be kept between 24 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius. My personal colony prefers the temperatures around 28 degrees Celsius. They like between 50 and 70% humidity. My colony actually prefers it around 50% humidity. They don't like a lot of humidity in their nest. Nicoparensis are a polymorphic species, meaning they produce majors, and the best way to house them is to begin with an acrylic nest before possibly moving on to a natural setup. It's not advised to house them in a wooden nest or an etong nest, at least one that isn't fully encased, as the majors can chew through this material. I find this species has quite a sweet tooth. They will never turn down sugar water or honey water. Every time I drop some into their bowl, they have their absolute fill of it. This colony has been fed on a variety of insects. To name a few is uh, fruit flies, mealworms, waxworms, dubia roaches, and the occasional spider. Also over the course of lockdown due to COVID-19, I tried cooked prawn and cooked chicken, which went down a treat. And they also quite like those protein jelly pots. I decided to try out those Chinese manufactured generic nests that you hear about. Some people say they're rubbish, other people say they're great. Personally, this one that I've used for the Nicobarensis has worked out perfectly. They seem to really like it. I've put some foil around the edging to stop the light from getting through, and I sandwiched some red acrylic, which unfortunately is why this colony isn't featured too much on the channel, only because they're really difficult to get good footage of. I purchased this nest on eBay back in December, December 4th if I remember correctly, for £13.38 and I think it was fantastic value for money. Other than the fact it doesn't come with instructions, it is easy enough to figure out how to put it together. And with a few alterations as I've made using the foil to block out the light and slipping in the red acrylic, it's actually quite a practical nest. Living in the United Kingdom, it means that I need to use heating equipment to make sure that I can provide the correct environment for the Nicobarensis. I do this by using a heat cable and a pulse proportional thermostat, so that's worth getting. I hope I've covered it all. Feel free to ask me questions, but for now this is The Colonialist, signing out.